the Spider-Man spin-off series, which was announced during the post-release tour of Venom, which has been in active development for over five years and was greenlit two years ago. That's right, we're talking about Silk, has been cancelled. Wow, yeah, totally didn't see this one coming. We all saw this coming, right? Like, everybody... The fact that they've been working on this over five years, the fact that it's been greenlit on Amazon for two years and that they were trying to push for a series and there was no development and there was multiple creative changes. And from what we understand, they were trying to find a whole new angle on it. But also it was something that kind of just meandered around Amazon while they greenlit other shows and other projects and other Sony properties. I mean, it's all kind of here. It's always been here. I don't think anybody figured that this was actually going to move to a full series, especially recently when they announced that they picked up Spider-Man Noir, which was only in development for like a year, if not less. I mean, the writing was on the wall for this one. And it's unfortunate because Cindy Moon Silk, I legit love that character. I think she's great. There's something very cool they could do here. But unfortunately, again, this is, one, Sony. Two, I don't think they even know how to push Silk. And three, trying to create synergy with a Silk project that's inevitably going to be with us within three to four years, a.k.a. Marvel Spider-Man 3. I mean, this could have been something that, had they timed it better and not done whatever they're doing or planning with it that sounds like it wasn't even a silk project at its core probably was never going to be what anybody wanted right um i think it's just like disconnected voices within sony trying to pitch different things and different ideas and ultimately uh silk was sort of their first foray into bringing spider-man to tv but it gestated for so long and went through so many different things that i think they learned a couple things from it to streamline what ended up becoming Spider-Man Noir, while Silk was sort of just like, well, there's so many things going against it that there's no way we can go forward with it now. Especially the recent failure of Madam Web, I think should be attributed to that as well. 